Hello guys, today in this video I am going to create a new project in ASP.NET Core MVC and <coughs> I am going to do that in the Ubuntu operating system so you can see I have opened the Ubuntu terminal here inside the Windows WSL program so as you know it is the full fledged Ubuntu operating system which is running right now inside my Windows machine so let me bring up the commands or, or, or we can just type here let me just type here uh, dot net and you can see we have a lot of options so what we can do dot net hyphen edge to get the help and it will, it will show us the the help and it will related to the creation of project building a project or adding any libraries okay so now what i will do i will i will run the dot net uh, dot net new mvc mvc okay to create a project and we can name it or we can do it dot net and let me give it a name and the name is uh, <coughs> core project okay. and okay let me first go back to the folder structure okay and now I will create a new directory here okay now I will go to CD go and here I will create the new project out new <coughs> core project and here I will do it a name as we see project hit enter and let it inst okay so it is saying no template found matching core okay so let me put here the template name mvc okay it should work okay okay so you can see here now I am not able to create so what I can do I can just hit your help H and it will show me the help related to this command okay so let me go with this okay dot net no restore no https okay client daddy is authentication okay if you dot not call web app mvc c sub Okay, mm, type of authentication none. Okay, and so so just let me do it. That don't have to just do it. Let me go again here. So let me just do this. Okay, so now it should create the MVC. It should create the MVC project so you can see it is restoring the project inside the folder that remaining project to restore. Okay, restore succeeded. Okay, so let me do the ls and you can see it has created the project structure in MVC. Okay, so what I can do, I can just uh, open the code here which is code. So I will just type the code dot and you can see it will open the visual studio code and and with all the all the like project directories and the files available inside that folder so let's wait for a few seconds okay you can see it has opened the code Okay, and now here I will just click yes I trust the author because I am the author. Okay.
okay and i will close it here get started and here you can see the project structure right okay it is still loading okay you can see the project structure that is controller this is the model this is the obj file this is the properties and this is the view okay and this is www root folder so whatever the static file that will be available here in the www root folder and and let me go through the first thing is the home controller.cs so that we can have a look what is already written inside the home controller okay so it is, it is saying do you want to install the recommended extension for c so i can also install it just by clicking on that okay so it is asking me to install in wsl ubuntu and yes it is installing now okay so yep so it is installed now okay so let me close this extension okay and here you can see this has opened here the, the terminal you can see this is the ubuntu terminal okay here i can i can use c sharp language there are a lot of other things here okay Okay, it is actually right now installing the dependencies for OmniSorp so that it can run. So now let me go here again in the in the in the folder structure here to understand more. So you can see this is the model class, and here you can see there are only two properties here. One is the boolean type of okay, and the other thing which is request ID okay. And this is the view which is indexed or CSHTML page, so you can also find it right here. So you can see here this is the building web apps with the sp.net core. This is the home page, this is its privacy page, and this is the shared page layout of CSHTML, which is kind of a master page which can be. Now it can be used everywhere, whatever the page will be created here. And this is the error.csstml. Okay. Okay, so it, you can see here in the in, in the output window here, it is installing the it has installed the OmniSorp package and now it is installing the .NET Core debugger for Linux. Okay. So you can wait for this to complete download so you can see it this is showing the process downloading the package right now 43% 44% okay so so you can see all the status here and you can see at the right side it is connected with the Ubuntu WSL this Visual Studio code is connected with Ubuntu okay so if you if you want to know about the how Ubuntu WSL works inside the windows then uh, you can find the with that video link inside the, uh, at the description section of this video okay so that will be very helpful for you guys to 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 uh, to run the ubuntu command or or fill the window terminal experience inside the operating system of windows 11 or windows 10 so let it first download the complete 100% then we will move to the next thing okay okay it is showing me requires assets to build debug and the missing core add them so I will do it yes okay so let me close these files now okay after doing this what we can do you can also run it here yeah. dot net restore for restoring the the dependencies whatever uh, the pending things for this project okay you can also see the terminal here right it is, it is opening the base of the Ubuntu. Okay. 
So you can see the remaining project to restore so all projects are up to date to restore, restore. So now what we can do, we can just simply run the project from here now. Okay, we need it now from here, but we can do that as well. But we, it is better to use here this. Uh, okay, so this is also in the same terminal of Ubuntu here, yeah. and here I will type .NET run and let's see what does it do so it will first build okay so you can see now here the application is running here on this port okay so this is listening on the localhost 7158 and it is also listening on 5068 okay so what i will do i will run this one first um, so localhost 7158 so to do that i will click on control and then click okay so it should open the browser here okay you can see it has open, automatically opened the, open the tab new tab here and it will open the the running uh, like the dotnet core application so let me go ahead in the VS code here so you can see the console now it is it is going to the the bin running on this which is longer than this dreadful starvation okay okay so let me go again here it is showing me the privacy error because of the HTTPS but no so because that right now it's the local so we can just continue to the local host and it will now take us to the to the web application yes you can see here so this is our first web application created in .NET Core on Ubuntu terminal okay and all we can see inside the Ubuntu operating system so this is the home it's already open okay this is the privacy okay and here again it is given the same url okay so right now it is saying no okay because we have not like ssl certificate configured but we need not to configure ssl certificate on the local host we can just keep continuing the development on this same platform there will not be any issue nothing will be uh, wrong in that case okay so we can just uh, move ahead with the implementation okay so this was the first video so to, to, to see that how we can create the dotnet core application in dotnet oh sorry on ubuntu platform so in this video that is all okay and and if you want to learn more about the dotnet core then you can just here this is a document list here this is related to sp.net core 6.2 so you can learn with that as well okay so yeah i, I will yeah, i had just click on this url so it opened this page so that's all guys in this video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you want to shut down this application ring so just press ctrl plus c and it will it will shut down the application so you can see here application is now shutting down okay so yeah let me stop this video now that's all in this video thank you